Hello, hello. Welcome on in to another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Matt. On this Saturday's The Core Series, we're exploring Creme Yvette. Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Matt, why don't you tell me a little bit more about this uh, very French-sounding liqueur. All right. Creme Yvette. Now, look at this sexy bitch. That is an awesome Ooh, bottle. I like do like this bottle. It does look like a pot still. It looks really cool. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. It's really an awesome product. All right. So what it is, it is violets. They take violet petals, then put it with blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, cassis, which is a type of grapes, orange peel, and vanilla. It was originally manufactured in Connecticut by the by the Sheffield Company in 1890 when it was founded. And then in 1900, it moved to Philadelphia by a very French guy named Charles Jacquin A.C.E. Good for you. Frenchy. All right. Anyway, then it produced until 1969 was closed down. For 40 years, it was shut down in 2009. A guy named Rob Cooper, same guy who made St. Germain, reintroduced this one. And now it has moved over to France in a place that is, uh, yes, yeah, some words I can't pronounce and I really don't give a shit. So it's cool. Yeah, that word. Sure. Anyway, some French words. So it's very cool. It's 27.75%. I mean, you talk about dialing in the percentage of alcohol, 27.75? Like, sure, why not? does make some awesome cocktails, though. It makes the Stratosphere, the Pousse Cafe, the Blue Moon, the Aviation, the Dewey, the Defender, the Submarine Kiss, the Lone Heart, the Perpetual. So some lots of fun cocktails with this thing. Let's see what we think of this. It could be our fun Frenchy time and a smell you a French liqueur. <laughs> It smells it is very, very floral. It smells like violets and berries. Yeah. Like uh, in, in that order, it was very, very floral first, and then it was a rush of berries. Yeah, it's and you smell each of those berries in here, the raspberries, the strawberries, uh, the castius. The... I'm getting more like blackberry, though. Yeah, blackberry. Yeah, blackberry is the first berry I think they put in with it, so... Okay. Like that was the first that was the first note that I got was just a, a blackberry and then just all sorts of floral. Yeah, it's tons. It's like sticking your whole head in a whole vase of uh yes. violets. Yes. Or vase as they say in France. <laughs> you know, you gotta make fun of them because they're French. So creme in France typically means a very high sugar content, correct? Correct. Yeah, we learned that one in one of these the core series. I oh, know we sure did with the Hiram Walk with the Hiram Walker stuff. We have lots of Hiram Walker products, lots. So, so I automatically think this is probably going to end up being very, very sweet. But I'm not getting that on the nose. Now, it almost smells even slightly bitter on the nose, to be yeah. honest. Right, I mean, it's well, that violet that makes it smell that way. I, I would go vegetal. Okay. I could see that, like stems and stuff. Yeah, I could see right. that. Yeah, not quite, uh, not quite like cucumber or you know, those types of things. Yeah, but like flower stems. Yeah. All right, let's see what we think. Oh God, there's a sweetness. It's sweet. Yeah, it's very sweet, sugary, and oily up front, but then the violets and the berries show up like crazy. Mm. Oh, it's just it's just sugar. It's just sugar, sugar, sugar water. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, I like the oiliness of this. I think this will make a real, like I said, those cocktails, some fun floaters that they're really thick and oily. I like that. But I like oh, really please. thick, clingy um, liqueurs. So oh, to me, this please. is bad. Now, this is, this is a more expensive <clears throat> liqueur. This is like $45. And I know a lot of it clearly goes into this bottle. This, this bottle is not cheap to make. So a lot of it is expense to that, um, but it is good. I think they did a good job. Apparently, from what I've heard, it's really close to the original one they made in 1890. So they this is the same recipe. It, it's good. If you are into sweet stuff that has a violet taste and some berries, you're gonna be good for this. I don't. I think it's actually a lot sweeter than the uh, was it Crane of Violet that we did with uh, Rothman and Winter. I think yes. it was our second review, liqueur review, some, somewhere in there, really early on. That one I remember having a sweetness to it, but not, not as sweet as this. And not as this is thicker than that is as well. So that much one, thicker. what I remember, doesn't really add sugar. Is this one clearly adds quite a bit? Yes. Yes. 
So, yes. Wow. <sighs> I, mm-hmm. I, I can understand how it has its place. Absolutely. It's not in my glass. No, this makes some really fun cocktails. Like I think for some bars that really special in cocktails, this is a really cool, it's cool, especially like presentation wise. I mean, marketing, yeah. you bring this out in the pool for somebody, they're going, that's a really cool bottle. And it, it, you know, it's, it looks, it's French. It looks fancy. It's got an awesome bottle. It's going to float. It's going to, it's just, it's just a really cool looking liqueur. And it's going to turn it purple, this purplish red. So it's not purple like that other one is. This is just like this reddish hue, more like a grape color, like a, almost like a Merlot color. Yeah. I would say. So yeah, it's good. Um, you just have to really like really sugary, sweet violets and uh, berries. Yes. So. Definitely, this is a cocktail one, not when I suggest drinking on its own. But it's, hey, you do you. Isn't that the truth? Don't you forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can keep up with all of our reviews. We're also live every Monday night for your viewing and enjoyment. Until next time, keep on crusading for better liquids in your glass. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it's a weird. I've seen that spelling before, but I know they pronounce it a vet. It's a fr- It's the French spelling of a vet. Yeah, but it's with a fucking Y because you know they're fucking French. Because it's the fucking French. Pretty much. Five, four, 